This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. This is going to be an informal video, but it has a significantly strong message attached to it. I was watching this video on my Facebook feed, and it just really struck a chord with me. I don't know if you know the background behind this, but this is concerning the Evans family. You can see the father here. His name is Tom, and they have a two-year-old son named Alfie Evans. The boy has some type of mysterious illness that put him in a vegetative coma. The doctors have stated that they've done everything they can to keep the boy alive, and now they want to take him off life support. Obviously, the parents disagree, and so it's gone to the European human rights judges, and they are saying that the boy needs to be taken off life support. This is a very similar story. It's almost like deja vu to the Charlie Guard story. And here you have their young son who also had some type of mitochondrial DNA issue, was in a vegetative coma. They wanted to take the child to the U.S. for experimental treatment, but the European human rights judges were stating no. You had lots of actors and actresses and even Donald Trump getting involved. There was a hashtag Charlie Guard <laughs> um, and a lot of public outcry. And this Alfie Evans is essentially doing the same thing. You can see here people charging at the hospital. They had to have police line up on the entrance and tell people were trying to break through. But lots of public outcry about this. And personally, I don't know why they have these quote-unquote death panels. It really should just be up to the parents to determine, you know, the fate of their child, whether they want to bring them to a different country and get experimental treatment. But that's not really the um, focus of this video. So what is the focus of this video is here. So because of all the PR and the public outcry, this father is doing everything he can to try to get high-profile figures on his side and sway the European judges. So he went to Pope Francis, and he is in Pope Francis' chambers, and he's saying, please help me save Alfie. And he even is shown here bowing down and kissing the hand of Pope Francis. Now, this man more than likely does not know anything about Pope Francis, that he is antichrist in nature, that he is definitely not a holy father. He is definitely not the vicar of Christ. My analogy is he's the John the Baptist of the antichrist. He's going to be one of the heads of the new world religion. And this man has no idea. He's bowing down, kissing the man's hand to save his son. And it's really made me think about something. Let's just say you were in a situation where your son, your daughter, your wife, your husband, your mother, your father was about to die for some type of reason or get killed for some type of reason. And all you had to do was bow down and kiss someone's hand that was of the beast system. <laughs> Would you do it? I know a lot of people here are saying absolutely not. But it brings a very valid case about what lies ahead in the tribulation. I was reading this article here, myth-busting ancient Rome, throwing Christians to the lions. Uh, it's not really debunking the fact that Christians were thrown to lions. It's more or less stating that it wasn't just only Christians. It was lots of different people that the Romans fed to lions and crucified and did all sorts of horrendous things to. But here's a really critical part. It says, in the event that a Christian agreed to sacrifice to the Roman gods, the emperor decreed that all would be forgiven. Tarzan's letter effectively expressed the Roman policy of don't ask, don't tell regarding Christians. Now, the things that they were up against were beheading, they were crucified, they were burned to death, they were attacked by beasts. Uh, regarding the attacking by beasts, they were put in the Colosseum for public display. But it really made me think about this video here. You know, what if men that were filled with the Antichrist spirit in the end times had your children, had your family, had close ones, friends, and they were on nearing their deathbed, they'll say, hey, we're going to take them out unless you submit to us, deny Christ, bow down and kiss my hand. That is a very tough place to be in. There's no question that that's going to be tough. And if we look to Matthew 10, I got a couple verses highlighted here. They say, A brother shall deliver a brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. 
and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endures to the end shall be saved. That's an interesting thing here, right? He that endures till the end shall be saved. You remember Revelation 2.10? You shall have tribulation ten days. Be faithful unto death, and I'll give you the crown of life. For all the past videos that I've put out, talking about once saved, always saved, and eternal security, there is a lot of verses in the Bible which talks about being faithful unto death. And we just saw two of them. Anywho, going on down. And this is the critical verse here. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. So you all remember the story of Daniel and his friends who refused to bow down and worship the God of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. They were thrown into the fire and protected by an angel. But again, they refused the false gods. And then in this story of the Roman emperor, and the Roman empire rather, and they said, hey, if you sacrifice to the Roman gods, all will be forgiven. I think there's going to be a lot of people that are tested, that are tried during this tribulation period, who they'll be given the option, revoke your faith, bow down, worship the beast system, and your children will be spared, your wife will be spared, you'll be spared. Now, we also know that Peter denied Christ three times and he was forgiven because he still believed in his heart. And if anyone in the end times in the future is going to go through a similar situation where they're tested and told to deny their Christian faith, um, that the same grace and mercy might be extended to you. But this is a very strong verse. But whoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. I don't even want to fathom the idea of publicly rejecting Christ or even testing Christ, um, that that type of mercy and grace would be offered to me in my public rejection of him. I don't even want to fathom it. But again, as I started this video, I said this video really struck a chord with me. Seeing this man, seeing his son who is about to die, and he's willing to do anything to save his son's life even bowing down before this Antichrist man, this man filled with the Antichrist spirit who will likely lead the one world religion and bow down and kiss his hand. And how just as in the Roman times where people were asked to deny their Christian faith, uh, so too I think a lot of people will be tested in this way, that they will be asked to deny their faith or suffer the consequences of their lives, their friends' lives, their families' lives, their children's lives, is a very, very difficult thing to think about. But again, there has not been tribulation on this earth, nor has there ever been since the foundation of this world. Um, so again, very, very strong message. Some of you may ask, what do we do then? Uh, you pray. You pray that, again, you are not tested beyond your means. Uh, you pray through your desire in God that he gives you the grace and power to go through these things. You know, he talks about uh, do not meditate on what you're going to say in that last hour for those words will be given to you by the Father uh, through the Holy Spirit. Um, it is by his grace and power that he moves you to do certain things. So, it's not necessarily by your own accord. It is through your desire that he gives you the grace and power to do his will. So um, just stay fervently in prayer uh, for the times that are upcoming. hope this wasn't too depressing. <laughs> but um, again, I just, I just saw in this video, I saw this. And I knew I just had to share it with you all. God bless everybody. This is Mike on Point Preparedness. See ya.